Warren Buffett is without a doubt the greatest investor of all time. As of April 2022, Warren Buffett has an estimated net worth of over $90 billion. And if you invested $1,000 in Berkshire Hathaway in 1980, it would be worth over $1.9 million by now. So how did Buffett achieve such a great result and become one of the wealthiest men on the planet? These results came from following a set of key principles and investing in companies. Keep watching, because by the end of this video, you will learn all of the seven principles of Warren Buffett. Number one, invest with sound intellectual framework. To invest successfully over a lifetime, what's needed is a sound intellectual framework for making decisions and the ability to keep emotions from corroding that framework. When you are trying to invest your hard-earned cash or life savings, you simply cannot do it with a hunch. You need to research thoroughly and formulate your own framework or investment strategy that fits your needs and personality. The following quote sums up Warren Buffett's investment framework that totally worked for him. We select such investments on a long-term basis, weighing the same factors as would be involved in the purchase of 100% of an operating business. One, favorable long-term economic characteristics. Two, competent and honest management. Three, purchase price attractive when measured against the yardstick of value to a private owner. And four, an industry with which we are familiar and whose long-term business characteristics we feel competent to judge. Having a framework standardizes your investment process and makes it repeatable and consistent. Number two, invest in what you understand. Never invest in a business you don't understand. Buy a stock the way you would buy a house. Understand and like it such that you'd be content to own it in the absence of any market. As an investor, your most important goal should be to buy a piece of a company that is simple to understand and whose earnings are almost certain to increase greatly in 5, 10, and 20 years, Warren Buffett said in a 1996 investor letter. As Buffett really emphasizes, sticking to investing in businesses you understand can help reduce investing mistakes and Warren Buffett calls sticking with what you know, staying in your circle of competence. What an investor needs is the ability to correctly evaluate selected businesses. Note that word selected. You don't have to be an expert on every company or even many. You only have to be able to evaluate companies within your circle of competence. The size of that circle is not very important, knowing its boundaries, however, is vital. Developing your circle of competence requires some effort. We need to learn, read, and think a lot. Buffett spends the majority of his day, as much as six hours per day, reading and thinking. He insists that we read 500 pages like this every day. That's how knowledge works. It builds up like compound interest. All of you can do it, but I guarantee not many of you will do it. He also insists on a lot of time being spent almost every day to just sit and think. The best way to think about investments is to be in a room with no one else and to just think. If that doesn't work, nothing else is going to work. Risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. We must spend extra hours deepening our knowledge and awareness because the more we know what we're doing, the more we're able to minimize risk. Number three, invest for the long term. Only buy something that you'd be perfectly happy to hold if the market shut down for 10 years. Don't even think about holding a stock for 10 minutes if you don't think about owning it for 10 years, Buffett stated. These quotes suggest that Buffett's investing time frame is at least 10 years. But when he finds wonderful business, his holding period becomes even longer. When we own portions of outstanding businesses with outstanding managements, our favorite holding period is forever. American Express he has held since 1964, Coca-Cola has been held since 1988, and Wells Fargo has been held since 1989. Buffett once said that compound interest is an investor's best friend, and building wealth through interest is similar to rolling a snowball down a hill. The longer a snowball runs down, the larger it becomes. My wealth has come from a combination of living in America, some lucky genes, and compound interest. Compound interest is simply interest on interest, and Albert Einstein once described it as the eighth wonder of the world because it grows the principal at an accelerating rate. Buffett wants to own business for as long as possible because he understands the power of exponential growth. 
This is exactly why the majority of Warren Buffett's wealth was earned in his later years. Successful investing takes time, discipline, and patience. No matter how great the talent or effort, some things just take time. You can't produce a baby in one month by getting nine women pregnant. Number four, invest in wonderful business. You should not buy just any business and hold it for the long run. Buffett believes in quality investing and he would rather buy a wonderful company at a fair price than buy a fair company at a wonderful price. So what is a wonderful business? The following are the characteristics of a solid investment in Buffett's own words. Above average and consistent return on equity. Our preference would be to reach our goal by directly owning a diversified group of businesses that generate cash and consistently earn above average returns on capital. Berkshire Hathaway Owner Manual Low Debt Equity Ratio We prefer businesses earning good returns on equity while employing little or no debt. Letter to Berkshire Shareholders, 1982 Consistently High Profitability we prefer demonstrated consistent earning power. Letter to Berkshire Shareholders, 1982. Strong and sustainable competitive advantage. In business, I look for economic castles protected by unbreachable moats. Letter to Berkshire Shareholders, 1995. Honest and competent management. We try to buy not only good businesses, but ones run by high-grade, talented, and likable managers. Letter to Berkshire Shareholders, 1987. In some, he looks for businesses with strong competitive advantages and quality management. He also mentions durability of competitive advantage. The key to investing is not assessing how much an industry is going to affect society or how much it will grow, but rather determining the competitive advantage of any given company and, above all, the durability of that advantage. Our approach is very much profiting from lack of change rather than from change. With Wrigley chewing gum, it's the lack of change that appeals to me. Chewing gum doesn't change much, neither does Coca-Cola or banking with Wells Fargo or ketchup at Kraft Heinz. Investing in such great business for the long term will let compounding work its magic. Time is the friend of the wonderful company, the enemy of the mediocre. Number 5. Invest with margin of safety now that we have covered what to buy, it is time to see Warren Buffett's thoughts on when to buy. Long ago, Ben Graham taught me that price is what you pay, value is what you get. Whether we're talking about socks or stocks, I like buying quality merchandise when it is marked down. Great business doesn't automatically translate to great investment. He warns not to buy great business at any price. For the investor, a too high a purchase price for the stock of an excellent company can undo the effects of a subsequent decade of favorable business development. Great businesses can be overvalued, and if you overpay for a large part of future growth today, you may not benefit from that growth in the future. Intelligent investors instead try to profit from the irrationality of the crowd. Be fearful when others are greedy, and greedy only when others are fearful. Things seem more fearful during market correction or bear market, and that is precisely when you should act. The best chance to deploy capital is when things are going down. The most common cause of low prices is pessimism, sometimes pervasive, sometimes specific to a company or industry. We want to do business in such an environment, not because we like pessimism, but because we like the prices it produces. It's optimism that is the enemy of the rational buyer. The sillier the market's behavior, the greater the opportunity for the business-like investor. Prioritizing a margin of safety is a cornerstone of Buffett's investment philosophy. The three most important words in investing are margin of safety. In simple terms, when the market price of a security is significantly below your estimation of its intrinsic value, the difference is the margin of safety. For example, if a stock trades for $10 per share, but if a company is realistically worth $12 per share, then there's a $2 margin of safety. A margin of safety provides a cushion against errors in business evaluation or intrinsic value calculation. That is why Buffett emphasizes to always pay less than a company's intrinsic value. Because rule number one in investing is not to lose money. Number six. Invest big when the best opportunities arise. Buffett often compares investing to baseball games and says, 
I call investing the greatest business in the world because you never have to swing. There's no penalty except opportunity lost. All day you wait for the pitch you like. You do things when the opportunities come along. I've had periods in my life when I've had a bundle of ideas come along and I've had long dry spells. If I get an idea next week, I'll do something. If not, I won't do a damn thing. He says we should act as if we have a limited number of times you can invest in the market. An investor should act as though he had a lifetime decision card with just 20 punches on it. If you were only able to use 20 punches for the rest of your investing career, you'd think twice before making a decision. You'd probably be a lot more careful with your investments. You'd spend more time researching a company to ensure you really love it before committing. Opportunities come infrequently. When it rains gold, put out the bucket, not the thimble. Every decade or so, dark clouds will fill the economic skies and they will briefly rain gold. Because the best opportunities don't come often, Buffett loves to concentrate his investment and bet big. Diversification is protection against ignorance. It makes little sense if you know what you are doing. Diversification may preserve wealth, but concentration builds wealth. Number seven, invest with discipline. Identifying high quality companies, knowing when to buy them and having the patience to hold them is not easy. That is why Buffett said the most important quality for an investor is temperament, not intellect. We don't have to be smarter than the rest, we have to be more disciplined than the rest. He also said that only when you combine sound intellect with emotional discipline do you get rational behavior. Over many years, Buffett implemented his strategy of buying high-quality companies at fair prices with strong discipline. This has allowed him to avoid any opportunity that he does not fully understand in terms of assessing the company's business model and walk away from any stock that is overvalued. In addition, Buffett has had the discipline over the long term to avoid any opportunity that he does not fully understand or doesn't fit into his buying criteria. We simply can find 100 different securities that conform to our investment requirements. However, we feel quite comfortable concentrating our holdings in the much smaller number that we do identify as attractive. His discipline also allowed him to walk away from any business that is overvalued as well as to withstand market volatility. You shouldn't own common stocks if a 50% decrease in their value in a short period of time would cause you acute distress. Only when you have the strong emotional discipline are you able to capitalize on buying opportunities that are present during market turbulence while others panic sell. Was this video informative to you? Please hit that like button, share to encourage us, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future videos. Comment below to share your opinions about what you think of Warren Buffett's strategy.